The checkbox is below the component selection table allow you to specify the behavior of the running simulation. Log model execution activity turns on state change reporting. Every time an event is consumed, its effect on the recipient is logged in the console. Verifier can run each component instance in its own operating system thread. While this simulates independently executing component instances, in some operating systems, it causes successive simulation runs to show different event orderings. A robust model will show the same overall behavior in the presence of changed event orderings. However, in some cases, such as when running tests, it is undesirable to allow any element of unpredictability. The run deterministically checkbox forces Verifier to run all components in the same operating system thread so that the simulation will behave identically every time it is run. Verifier can use the host computer's internal hardware clock to track the passage of time, or you can simulate the passage of time. When time is simulated, only the order of events is honoured. That is, an event that is delayed by 10 seconds will always be delivered after another event sent at the same time but delayed by 5 seconds. This behaviour is controlled by the Enable Simulated Time checkbox. Here's Verifier running the GPS watch model in wall clock time. And here it is again, running in simulated time. You can see that the watch is running much, much faster. Verifier uses a blocking mechanism to implement synchronous messaging. When model execution is resumed after having been suspended, Verifier must wait for all components to restart in order to smoothly restore the blocking mechanism. The execution timeout value is used during this restart process to enable timely reporting of any problems occurring during execution resumption. For most models, the default value is fine. 